otherworldly things that are not even UFO related are somehow connected to this phenomena. What yep. the paranormal, uh, paranormal is not a good word, but these otherworldly things that are not even UFO related are somehow connected to this phenomena. Would you read this book, Skinwalkers at the Pentagon? A lot of the book is about the paranormal connection to UFOs, UAPs. And I read uh, the original Skinwalkers Ranch book, but I've not yeah. read that one. This is the government's take on the Skinwalkers Ranch. This is why they okay. started the ATIP program. And it, it's really interesting, but they do a whole paranormal connection to UFOs, UAPs, and I don't know what what that is, but it's a direct connection, especially in your life. Yeah. The only common denominator I found, so I got into the paranormal research on the heavy yeah. side. I was a MUFON investigator for 10 years in Indiana on the UFO side, and then I became a paranormal researcher. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of meshed the two together. The only common denominator I've ever been able to put together is the experiencer themselves. Mm. There's something different about the experiencer and not just with their experiences, but in other, the way they look at life and the, mm. the way their mind thinks. I would almost venture to say there's something physically different about their brain. There's something different about I just the read an article. Experiences. I read an article. I'll send this to you where they talk about the, there's something physically different about experiences brains. Actually, there's a part that's more developed that non-experiences don't have. I don't know if they're born that way. It's possible mm -hmm. because it because Bud and other researchers have, have kind of shown that it's a familial thing, like a generational thing within families. So it's possible that this is some genetic difference in yeah. the way the brain is put together you know or but i often also wondered if you know perhaps the experience that self that in that initial physical contact uh changed to something you know mm. I, I don't i'm not sure i'm not a doctor or a scientist so i don't really know i'm just seeing this pattern and i'm seeing it in my own life and in my own family in my book Grant Cameron writes the second chapter and he says, nobody sees a UFO by mistake. If you've <laughs> seen it, you were meant to see that. that. That is not just being in the right place at the right time. They have targeted you. So do you think that might be true? That um, Yes. That, they're, that it's all set up on this higher level of... Uh, well, I believe uh, the ones that are uh supposed to see that see it do we had this conversation with my mom and i had this conversation with uh j allen heineck back in 1984 when uh mom and i had the sighting of the boomerang shaped thing come over indianapolis uh in april i think of 84 um at bud had given me kufos's phone number right. and uh I also gave me MUFON's phone number, but nobody answered the phone when I called MUFON and I called KUFOS, the Center for UFO Studies, because it was just up in Chicago, a couple. I called their 24-hour uh, UFO report hotline mm. and Dr. Heineck answered. That's and amazing. because we took. I know, I feel very fortunate. I wish I would have met him in person. I only met him over the phone. Mm -hmm. We talked on the phone. He interviewed me and my mom. We sent him pictures. He asked us to make drawings of what we saw independently of each other, not together. Right. And then at some point, my mom talked to him. And I don't know if it was that night or if it was the next day or so. But he, my mom told me that he told her that he, of all the years that, you know, he was, he was really on the fence, not really a believer in such when he started his research. But by the time he had, gotten where he's at now he uh he had felt that um not everyone was able to see these things yeah that was the that was the feeling he got and that was in 1984 dr heineck so and you ought to, you already know he's seen a million times more things than me or you are ever going to see so <laughs> uh i thought that was pretty interesting and here they are finally coming around to it in 2021 and 2020 realizing you know that there might be something different.